Uh, one of his last statements that uh, he said was that if you're over 38 and you haven't married or something like that, that you're no good and disposable. Um, to me, it was a shock jock. And, you know, I, I hope this is teaching folks a lesson about the karma that you put out, the negativity that you put out in the world, that when karma comes knocking at your door, she might not be so kind. So, you know, the fact that he uh, killed over real quick and was uh, supposedly with a woman that we don't know, yet know the national. Dialogue. Shut up, Vivica Fox. I'm about tired of seeing your twisted up mouth everywhere. Every time you come on camera, your face is twisted up. <laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Or favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay. Party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Well, as you've seen that opening clip, we have Vivica A. Fox back in the news again. Mm. And we're talking about her love life again. I don't know why. Vivica Fox. It's going to be 60 years old this coming July. 60 years old. And she's still out there looking for love in all the wrong places. Poor thing. Poor thing. Now, she made a statement when the great Kevin Samuel passed away. And ever since then, she's been catching wreck. She's been catching hell. You know? And everybody's kind of uh, laughing at her. Kevin Samuels is still roasting her from heaven. Who gives a shit what you give, Vivica Fox? You can't keep a man. One of your biggest regrets is you never had a kid. You never turned out a plus sign. See, I got problems with women like you. Thinking that you you talk as though you, you, you're you someone to be a P. And she just can't get right, you know? Now, she tried it. She's been bouncing around. She's been dating a lot of younger guys. All the guys I think she dated have been younger than her. And um, I think it's a power trip thing. But now she got the latest guy. She is dating Mr. Kevin Daniels. She couldn't get a Kevin Samuels, so she settled for Kevin Daniels, this guy here. Now, Kevin Daniels is 47 years old. He's an actor, too. I don't see him in too many uh, shows. I see him in uh, Law & Order once or twice or something like that. And um, But his biggest... Claim the fame is his latest show that he had a few years ago in Sirens. Sirens is a show that was on um, USA. And he played an interesting character. This guy. Yes. Okay. Now, he played a, an alternative lifestyle character. And now, it's equivalent to a black guy in Hollywood wearing a dress. And Vivica Fox looked at this guy and says, this guy, I think I can fall in love with. <laughs> you sure not to pick him, Vivica. You sure not to pick him. I tell you, man, you must like to be roasted. Anyway, so now Mr. Daniels here, they say that he's not an alternative lifestyle. He used to be married to this young lady here who's also an older lady. I think she's five years older than him. And um, they got two children together. But again, playing the um, Twinkle Toe characters is kind of sus. It's kind of sus. But they say, hey, he's straight. Hey, whatever. <laughs> so Vivica Fox has reached down and now she's dating Mr. Daniel and... I find it funny that she waited her whole life. She forgo her 20s and 30s. She bounced around from here to there. And now in her later years, she found love 
with a 47 year old guy. I love you in the so car. much. Yes. And there was a perfect Vivica. Vivica. Now I know you believe that you still got it. I got off the phone with a young lady that I went to high school with, and she's about my age too. And she too believed that she still got it. All right. She's in her fifties. And I was trying to tell her about an analogy. And let's I'm gonna share with y'all. Imagine that I went to the junkyard and I went and got a 64 Impala at the junkyard. No. I got the pressure washer. I'm pressing all the rust off. I put on some some Chews and Vogues on her. Inside, I got peanut butter guts. And I put a slick, wet candy paint on her. Okay? Chromed her out and everything. Take her to the showroom. Everybody like, ooh, it looks good, looks good. But it's still a 64 Impala. It's 60 years old. Okay? Now, there's a Mercedes-Benz S-Class here. Brand new 2024. Or a 64 Impala. Who do you want? What do you want? I know some people might want to have the vintage. You know, very few people want the vintage. You get the vintage, but you're going to put her in the, in the garage. You're not going to bring her out because you're afraid it's going to break down. The 2024, you want to take around and show off. The vintage, you're going to put her in your garage. Now, you older women, you can put all the paint you want on your face. You can put the headlights in. You can put the dunk in the back. You're still a 64 Impala. This is going to be a cautionary tale for you young ladies. I'm not talking about no Gen X. You're out of the picture. What? Millennials, you're out of the picture. Gen Z, there's a very few of y'all could still get it. We're talking about Generation Alpha. If you got kids, I have some kids that's Generation Alpha. If you have some grandkids, especially the women, that's Generation Alpha, you got to tell them about the cautionary tale. Do not end up like Vivica Fox. Yes! Do not forego your 20s and want to go travel and have fun in your 20s because it's going to pay back. <laughs> Karma is going to come at your front door. Do not waste your 20s, young ladies. Get the kids out the way. You might get divorced, so what? Get divorced. But get married, drop the kids, raise them till they're 10 to 15 years old, and then go have your fun. But if you want to have your fun in your 20s, you're going to regret it big time. You're going to end up, you might end up like Vivica Fox. And we can see her face, that bitter scrawl she got. She's bitter because she did not drop no kids. She can say what she want. Yes. Do you ever miss being a mother? Of course. Really? If that's the biggest regret of my life that I have was that um, I didn't have a child, but I'm a good godmother. Really? Oh, yeah. I, I bring the best gifts and throw <laughs> the best parties. Um, if, if that's the one thing that, uh, that I have a regret about. So I don't get to see my eyes in a child, mm -hmm. and I think that's something that I'll miss. But we all see that bitterness in her. She could say that she's happy and she's living it up. She's not happy. We all see that. We all see that. And we got to start telling our women that, our young ladies, do not end up like her. Don't fall for the foolishness talking about you're going to work and have a career. Most of y'all have a job. You don't have careers. Vivica Fox had a career, and so look what she ended up at. Most of y'all have jobs. Most of y'all graduated high school and we end up working at Walmart, and then you want to hold on to your Walmart job. Come on, man. That's nothing special. You don't want to raise no kids, but you want to hold on to your Walmart job. Cautionary tale. Hope you young ladies are paying attention. Don't want to end up like this. Your first 40 years is all fun and games. Your next 40 years, you're going to have to pay somebody to spend time with you. Drizzle, drizzle. Yeah. The first 40 years, you're a sugar baby. Everybody want to be a part of you. Your next 40 years, you're going to have to pay for companionship. Drizzle, drizzle. If you haven't learned by now, the guys are starting to wake up. There's no more Ricky Lake. There's no more Oprah, Sally Jesse Raphael. 
None of that no more. The men are waking up. We starting to see the and now you will have to pay. Drizzle, drizzle. Drizzle, drizzle. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> drizzle, drizzle. <laughs> Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And to all you old hens, get off my lawn.